Hey, welcome back everybody. This is Chris from PC Addicts and we are going to continue on with our server setup video series here. And um, I think we're ready to go ahead and let's start downloading some software. Um, so I Googled, what did I Google? Download Windows Server 2012 Essentials R2. And the first result here is our download page. Uh, go ahead and read stuff there and let's select a version. I want the ISO because I'm going to mount it to my virtual box configuration here. We're going to basically ignore all this stuff here that I've set up for, uh, you know, during previous video series. But um, we want an ISO so we can mount that and we can install it directly from that ISO. All right. And once you have the ISO downloaded, which I do, I just downloaded it to my desktop here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and add it to VirtualBox. And I have a bunch here. Just kind of ignore them for now. What we're going to do is set up a brand new one. Um, let's name this. Uh, just, just for uh, clarity in these videos, I'm going to go ahead and name this server. And then we're going to go ahead and we'll leave it at Microsoft Windows for the type and then for the version. Um, let's find, here we go, Windows 2012 64-bit. Go ahead and hit Next. I'm going to leave it uh, with the default suggested 2 gigs of RAM here. And I do want to create a virtual hard drive now. We'll leave it as a VDI. Hit next. We're going to leave it as dynamic. And um, let's see the size. Where are we going to save this? Let's make sure it's being saved to the right drive. Yep, my VM storage. Okay, so that's good. And we're going to allocate 25 gigs. Sure. That, that should work. Let's go ahead and create that. All right. So now we have it set up here. Now, you know, this is just for testing. Of course, you're not going to be doing this out in the real world because you're going to be setting up a physical server more than likely um, and installing this directly on there. I'm just showing you how I'm setting it up here in case you care. <laughs> so, all right. So anything else here we need to do? We'll just kind of leave everything alone. Network, though. Let's go ahead and set this to internal. And I think that should be it. Let's just double check here. Nothing there. Um, boom, 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 boom. Processor. Let's give it at least two CPUs. And that should be good. I think we're good to go. We can fire this up. The first time we're firing it up, it's going to say, hey, you need to select the ISO. And I'm like, okay. Oh, yeah, I forgot I have storage here. Let's go ahead and drop that on there. Okay, and we got 9600. Open that. Start her up. And we'll go ahead and get the install going. Okay, I started going through this. Uh, basically, all I did is I set the password for the administrator, went ahead and logged in, and then this window came up automatically. Configure Windows Server Essentials. It took about a minute to run. What's the company name going to be? I forgot what we said we were going to name this company. So let's name it Cool uh, Credit Union. How about that? If I can type. So the internal domain is going to be Cool Credit Union. I think it should be CCU. That sounds better. But the name would be Cool Credit Union. All right. Server name. Cool Server. Eh, how about CCU Server? I guess it doesn't need to be capital. CCU Server. There we go. Next. All right, so I'm going to set a network administrator account. Um, administrator account name, we're going to name it cdavis.admin, and I'll put my password in. I'm going to say use recommended settings, and we'll go in there and we'll configure it. All right, so this is going to take up to 30 minutes. We'll go ahead and let this thing run, and um, we'll be back. So I was thinking I would uh, go ahead and configure the server here, but you know what? Um, this video is long enough. Let's go ahead and just stop it here. And the next video, we'll go ahead and start configuring our server and uh, see if we can get this business going.